Ivy looking for Verbeek, finds her Verbeek with the shot just inside the three-point line and knocks it down, Nebraska on the board. Down, tipped out on the offensive board for the Golden Gophers. Long three by Scullion, knocked down by the freshman out of Minnesota. Now she had a terrific Big Ten debut with 22 points. Brown was actually cutting back door. I'm not sure if Whitish was trying to feed Kane or hit Brown, but instead she hits a three-pointer. Minnesota team has a lot of scoring threats. Inside to Kane, a nice dish on the pass from Kayla Mershon. Available right now, so you have to be patient and find what is available. Whitish with a long three. She's two for two from outside the arc here early on. It really does, so they went and posted her up so she'd have a higher percentage look. Wiley's three, knocked it down. Nebraska three for three from three-point range. Good move inside, spin, and Ivy lays it off glass. As you watch again from overhead, love this angle. Watch how she goes into the defense and then spins away. Verbeek out to Whitish. She's three for three. And timeout. Check out Hubbard with that basket. Bello recovers there to get a block to give Kane a little of her own medicine on this end. Hubbard with a three, got it, long three. Shot is off by Brunson, and here's the rebound for Hybe. Four on two, Nebraska has numbers. Hybe with the shot and the foul, an opportunity for a three-point play. Not sure she did that on purpose or not. Here's Pitts with the drive, a reverse. Great shot by Destiny Pitts. In the field, Nebraska threw a lot of different defenders and defensive looks at her. Good pass by Pitts down low, finds Bello for the opening basket of second half. And that gives her room to put the ball on the floor to make Kate Kane move defensively. Whitish knocks down another three-pointer. Blocks in the first half, she's all the way up to 43 on the year. It's more than the rest of her team combined, and there's Verbeek with a three-pointer. Three on three. Good dish inside to Bello, who doesn't finish. Got her own rebound, back up. And that is what Bello is so good at on the offensive board. It was a three on three. Nebraska had it defended well initially, but Bello had a step on Kane, and that's a terrific pass as she is running to the rim. Patient for that screen to be set, and, Bur and uh, Trinity Brady ends up getting called for the foul. Good hard work down low by Destiny Pitts to get the basket. Nice drive in the paint and jumper by Taye Bello. And the turnover. Pitts drives it in, got it! Rebound tipped around by Bello and pulled down by Pitts. Back to Bello. 6-0 run for the Gopher. Ivy with it, now off to Eliley. Verbeek on Bello, got the roll, nice move. Five points for Verbeek, two for four from the floor. There is Pitts with a three-pointer, got it, and an opportunity for a four-point play. She's also really good at going down, if anybody enough, to take a three-point shot so far in this game. So she does there and draws a foul. Right back from Sam Hybe with the jumper. Scania had that three-pointer early, but has been quiet since then. That time, Scalia right around Mershon. Good matchup there for the Gopher. Good to see that she was able to get up from that. Eliley inside to Kane. The turnaround. Kane knocks it down. The foul on Bello. But at least when she touches it, it draws attention. Destiny Pitts. Yeah, 5 of 16 from the floor. Hannah White is doing a good job pushing her off the line. Great feed inside. And Kate Kane with another two. Kane with the easy lay off of the dish and an opportunity for the three-point point. Drove into the paint. Hybe was not stopped. Nobody stopped her. She recognized that she... And Nebraska wins at home the final 72 to 58. Nebraska moves to two and one inside the Big Ten Conference. The Gophers fall to one and two.